Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat. Welcome back to a brand new video. And in today's video, we're going over all the stuff which you've missed inside of Fortnite in the past few days. There's been a lot of stuff in the world of Fortnite and I can't wait to show you guys exactly what we've had and what we've missed. But before we do that, don't forget to tell us to subscribe if you are new around here. And if you get some free time when Creative is up and running, go and try out my fashion show map. The code is down below in the description and on screen. You can see some gameplay of me playing as a judge and you can also get the opportunity to become one of the judges in one of the public lobbies. It's a super awesome fashion show map with up to 50 players, a high recommend playing it on eu na east and na west depending on what time of day it is you know just you kind of adjust that to your liking it's better ways if you want to get in more popular lobbies you want to go on eu na east they're like the most too popular and then na west late in the evening for me but depending on your time zone like say if you live in the na, NA east and you're up really early you want to go on obviously eu and if you're up really late you want to go on na west you know just adjust your time zone depending on which server region you want just to get popular lobbies i highly recommend doing that if you want to get in a busy lobby but anyway let's move on to what we have in tonight's item shop so there's been some awesome drops coming into fortnite recently i was really surprised to receive this i really did not expect fortnite to actually drop the street fighter cosmetics during a live event period i thought they would have kind of kept the item shop quiet but nope they went straight ahead and released the cameo and gully out in the item shop so absolutely crazy stuff and this stuff is just amazing like when you look at this stuff i look at it and think wow this is awesome and if you guys are copying any of it especially if you're a chun lee fan the cami skin really does go well if you're a chun Li fan and even the glide is really cool now i didn't purchase the pickaxes because i wasn't a huge fan but don't forget if you do cop any of the new street fighter stuff or just anything generally inside of fortnite you can go ahead and use code post to support this channel right here really does go a long way and it is my new support credit code so let me know if you're using it down below in the comment section down below thank you anyone considering to use code post okay so what else do we have in the recent fortnite stuff there's been a lot of stuff going around and a bunch of stuff i just want to touch on easter eggs and so much more regarding the event so the first major one which we received was obviously this here so this was all of the little previews that we saw in the event with all the different flashback moments and the most interesting one is the top two i believe the top two i would say or even the top row is the most interesting one because kevin was spotted on the chapter two map it's almost confirming that Kevin will return probably this season or next, and I can't wait for that. I expect Kevin will return. We will see a transition of Kevin. We may even see Kevin return, maybe with the IO fighting back against the aliens. Maybe they summon Kevin to get support against the aliens, because we know possibly from previous theories and looking at the way Fortnite works, the actual cube matter is controlled by io so if we see kevin spawn in and fight off the you the aliens or the ufos then that almost confirms that well it, it already kind of is confirmed but it almost like backs it up even further that io do control that dark element as i was recording this video donald mustard also tweeted out this they see me rolling part two now this could be a reference to the cube and i generally do think it is so will we receive kevin inside of fortnite again only time will tell. Let me know in the comments down below if you think the cube will return to Fortnite. I hope he does, and I can't wait. We also have the other screenshot, which is the end screenshot. So this was a little bit blurry in game, according to Hypex. I also noticed that as well, and this one wasn't too clear to actually see. And I guess that makes sense, because technically, the end event for us as a community is something which we should have forgot, because IO did reboot the loop. Obviously, we didn't forget it, because, you know, we were there and we watched it, but... It makes sense why technically that should have been forgotten from our memories in the memory tunnel. And that's the official name for this you can see here. You can see Hypex posted a little tweet here, fun fact about it being a memory tunnel, as well as also the one about the end black hole not being 100% clear. So I kind of like that. I kind of thought it was a neat touch and possibly we could expect something similar at the end of this chapter. But I feel like the ending of this chapter won't be the same. I think it will be a different event or maybe the same event the end event but a different outcome which i think would be cool and i think a lot of people would like that so yeah we'll have to wait and see what happens there with the event this season or even this chapter towards the end there's a lot of stuff and i suspect there is going to be a mini sort of live event at the end of this season that's my prediction don't know 100 percent, but i have a little feeling that we do expect something like that to appear for a live event towards the end of this season now another little topic for you guys is a reminder of the up and coming content inside of fortnite we already had the street fighter stuff popping tonight we've also got the free ariana 
silver umbrella. So you're probably wondering, Pat, what do you mean the free silver umbrella? Well, this will actually be an after show award. So post show, once all the shows are finished, you'll then be able to pop in and grab yourself a silver umbrella for free. I don't know how you're going to get this yet, but I'll keep you guys updated on that. Bubble mobility could be added in as well permanently. We don't know 100% if that's going to be a thing or not. Superman unlocks also in three days. So keep your eyes peeled for that. I will be covering everything regarding Superman here and over on the second channel. It's going to be really exciting to make sure, again, you stay in tune for all that stuff. Prop gun and burst pulse rifle. Mm, that's interesting. Imagine a prop gun in Fortnite. I've always thought what would a prop gun be like in a PvP scenario. I think that would be pretty cool and one that people would love to use in game. It's definitely more of a meme style gun. Definitely will be disabled in competitive though. Abduct coral and the farm. That possibly could happen very very soon in the next few days so maybe even tomorrow or monday and also two more major updates are going to be popping version 17.4 and version 17.5 as well as the free back to school cosmetics plus doodle or app which will be popping towards the end of this month so a lot of big content in the works for you guys and i cannot wait to see where fortnite is going to go with all this it's going to be really exciting and generally overall i am hyped as for all of this guys it looks absolutely incredible so keep your eyes peeled for everything guys leading up to the next season which is going to be Fortnite season a and then we're only two away from possible well i don't know what do you guys think possibly the chapter will end at season 10 or season x as they called it in chapter one maybe what do you guys think in the comments let me know down below i generally do feel like Fortnite would end it at that season x again and even recall it season x for the season 10 or which would technically be season 20 i suspect that would probably be around march next year even around summer next year so we've got season eight which is going to carry us through to christmas probably from september to christmas and then we suspect there might be another season mid christmas from see or well, they do have a long christmas break so we might even get the season in january so we could sp suspect there's going to be a season nine which will carry from january to maybe march maybe april and then maybe april to summer will take us into season x which will transition us in to the chapter three usually that christmas period definitely is a bit slow from epic games for seasonal content but because uh when i say seasonal content i mean like season passes and not not like seasonal because it's christmas but in that period around the christmas time a lot of stuff does go on so it's going to be a little bit of a mixture what's going on there i always am excited for the christmas stuff but it always just feels a little bit slow paced sometimes especially the last two christmases the content has definitely been a little bit slower around the christmas period because epic just take breaks then they take like a three week break for the christmas holidays which is understandable but it is interesting to see where that's going to go i do hope they have something big plan for christmas this year and imagine a big christmas event or something unique in the game we've had a lot of unique stuff throughout the last few christmases even the for example last christmas we got the snow stuff with the x2 storm wings being out of there and the christmas before that we even got the cabin where you can get the free rewards the 14 days of Fortnite, whatever it was and then the people clip baiting the 15th present which got millions of views i can't believe so many people actually thought there was a 15th present there's so many fools out there like completely clip baiting people but yeah i guess that did happen and hopefully I don't really want the cabin to come back for that purpose. Uh, I suspect that they won't bring the cabin back because of that. And it's the same sort of thing with other similar free related things like that. So I don't think the cabin will ever come back. I also do think this season or this Christmas will have like a unique thing. We've really talked a lot here about the future, but who knows? I hope a season does drop around the start of December, which would kind of make sense, you know, run through September to end of november then a season drops in end of november december and then that run through was christmas as well with the christmas event which would be a massive massive time for a battle pass sale as well so let's see what happens on that side anyway i hope you guys have enjoyed today's video don't forget to leave a like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in the future once again this is postbox pat signing out